You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Let's begin the show with the festivities of one of the biggest celebrations in Madurai city of Tamil Nadu. Reenacting the wedding of Lord Sundareswar and Goddess Minakshi, the 15-day festival is celebrated in Madurai temple with great enthusiasm. Have a look. Every year in the Tamil month of Chaitra that usually falls in April and May, Madurai pulls a sea of devotees as the city's Meenakshi Amman temple celebrates the annual Chitirai festival. Commemorating the celestial wedding of Goddess Meenakshi, a form of Parvati and Lord Sundareshwar, a form of Shiva, the festival hosts a number of events that are not just religious but are also interesting to watch. Kodiatram marks the first event of the entire celebration. In this, Chief Priest of Meenakshi Temple declares the opening of the festival by hoisting the flag, which stays on the flag post till the end of the festival. The Chitra festival has begun on a very grand note today. After a gap of two years, there is enormous public interest to participate in the festival. The flag hoisting or Kodiyatram was held today morning. This will be followed by 11 days of festivities where each day Lord Sundareshwara and uh, Goddess Meenakshi will be in various forms and will be taking out processions in the streets of Madurai. Patta Bhishekam marks the second event in which Meenakshi Amman is crowned as Queen of Madurai for next four months. For this ceremony, the beautifully decorated idols of Goddess Meenakshi and Lord Sundareshwar and his consort Piriyavidai are brought to the Arakal Mandapam, which is situated opposite of the Meenakshi Amman Sanctum Sanctorum. A female elephant is also prepared who walks in front of the deities as a part of the custom. Hundreds of devotees as well as tourists assemble in the temple to witness this whole extravaganza. Wonderful people, a lot of fun in the streets. I, we've been in the temple and it was beautiful. I never saw something like this in all my life. It's a very beautiful place and people are so happy and excited. Makes me happy too. Meenakshi Kalyanam marks the most important event of Chittirai festival. It is the grand wedding celebration of Meenakshi and Sundareshwar in Madurai. The deities are decorated with silk cloth and floral garlands and nearly 50 priests in the temple perform the puja rituals and special prayers. A day after this event is the Chariot Festival in which Meenakshi and Sundareshwar, who are now the King and the Queen of Madurai, come out to bless the devotees on two aesthetically decorated wooden chariots. This ceremony attracts many people to the Masi streets of Madurai, where the procession takes place. <laughs> The procession of Lord Kallagar or Allagar, a form of Lord Vishnu and the brother of Goddess Meenakshi, is another main event of the Chitirai festival. 
It starts from his temple in Alagar Koil, a village in Madurai, and ends at Ramayar Mandapam on the banks of Wagai River. Amid the journey, devotees also spray scented water at the procession. Legend has it that after realizing he could not attend the marriage, Kallagar returned back from the middle of the Wagai River after giving gifts to his sister Meenakshi. The same is reenacted in the festival by taking back Lord Kallagar to his abode on a floral palanquin. While all other events of Chitirai festival are performed in the south of Wagai River, this is the only one that takes place in the north. Alaer andir kare na corona ala olin jero na ella nala argon nana kena nada kono. Ini dawshu ma alaer baram marinare romba ka baratam marde si ini dawshu mande de romba sendosa marke. Awar ora tangga kudre kaga yedir pati kudre kono. Alaer at le erang erade kaga kati kudre kono. Celebration of culture and tradition, Chittirai is one of the longest celebration of Tamil Nadu. People dressed in traditional attire and traditional art forms are quite common during this festival. Some devotees even do one month of fasting to take part in the rituals and pull the chariot in procession. Sufism has entrenched itself at the center of cultural and spiritual life in India. Dargahs of Sufi saints in almost every part of the country are the rich reservoirs of this tradition. The Dargah of Hazrat Durvesh Rehmatullah in the city of Gaya is one such place where devotees from all religions come and offer prayers to the Sufi saint who lit the path of virtue, wisdom and peace for his fellow beings and followers. An epicenter of faiths, a place where brotherhood and bonhomie between as many religions could be seen and prospered at its best. The Darga of Hazrat Magdum Durvesh Rehmatullah, situated in the holy town of Gaya, is one such melange of diversities. Situated in the small village of Peter Sharif, the shrine witnesses a rush of devotees throughout the day. Whether one is Hindu, Muslim, Sikh or from any other community, the aroma of the shrine serenades them into cheerfulness and a belief of fulfillment ensues in them. Irrespective of caste, creed, dharam, jati, se upar put kare haan baat ho ki hai. Hum kisi ko nahi pahchan te koon ke hai. Bas insaniyat hi ek pahram hai yaha. Jo Sufi santon ka hamesha se ye hi raha hai. Uddesh raha hai unke unke kyaan dene ka hi. कि यहाँ जो लोग आते हैं सिर्फ और सिर्फ इंसान इंसान की शक्ल में आते हैं इंसानियत ही का पाठ पढ़ाया जाता है। It is believed that Sufi saint fulfills the wishes of all those who come here from different corners of the country. People of all faiths have deep faith in the saint who throughout his entire life worked for the welfare of humanity. देखिए वली के नजर में न हिंदू है न कोई मुसलमान है वली धर्म से जब धर्म से कोई ऊपर उठता है तब उसे वलायत मिलती है संत का पासना मिलता है मतलब संत का ये मिलता है और ऐसा कुछ नहीं है जितने यहाँ जितने उत्साह से यहाँ मुस्लिम आते हैं और उतने ही उत्साह से यहाँ हिंदू भी आते हैं since ages, the Sufi saints like Hazrat Magdum Durvesh Rehmatullah have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country and their teachings are still playing significant role in strengthening the thread of secularism. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Indian state of Tamil Nadu marked Transgenders Day with a dance and music performances organized by a local NGO, the festivities included cake cutting, dance performances and a felicitation performance. We have to act like uh, another person just to be with our family. Uh, so uh, this is the most basic reason that uh, why most of the trans people are uh, being silent or in closet in society. So I hope that their family will understand that our feelings and they will accept and they will motivate them to become 
an inspiration to the community. The local councillor handed out honorary awards to the members of the community. India's Supreme Court ruled in 2014 that transgender people had equal rights, but prejudice against them persists and they are often rejected by their families and denied jobs, education and health care. Indian across the country celebrated the birth of Hindu deity Lord Hanuman with offering and sweets. The streets of capital New Delhi, central Nagpur and northern Kanpur cities were filled with devotees heading towards the Hanuman temple to celebrate the occasion. श्रद्धालु अपने अपने घरों से नंगे पैर पैदल चल के आए हैं जो रात को अपने घर से दस बजे के करीब निकले और सुबह यहाँ पहुँचे हम लोग भी अपनी गाड़ियों द्वारा शादरे से आए हैं और बहुत सारी बहनों को साथ लेके आए हैं और बड़े ही उत्साह के साथ आज हम अपने घर पे जाके अपने घर में दीप जलाएंगे और मीठे पकवान बनाएंगे और बाबा को भोग लगाएंगे और बाबा का जन्मदिन धूमधाम से बनाएंगे Devotees reading the holy hymn book of Lord Hanuman, known as Hanuman Chalisa, was a common picture in many temples. Every year, Indian observe Hanuman Jayanti or Chaitra Purnima, which is the day of full moon of the season. Hanuman is worshipped for his undying loyalty to Hindu Lord King Ram and his consort Sita. In Hindu mythology, Lord Hanuman is a symbol of strength and power. He is also believed to help devotees get rid of evil influences. With life-size cutouts, milk baths and fireworks, fans of Indian Tamil star Vijay welcomed the release of his action comedy film Beast in southern Tamil Nadu. Thousands of fans broke into impromptu dances despite the scorching heat, burst crackers and some even flocked to theatres before sunrise to watch actors film. Very excited for the movie. I think office leave for today. Last year, four five years ago, Directed by Nelson Dilip Kumar and reportedly made on a 19 mm dollars budget, Beast sees Vijay portray the role of a former spy who frees hostages stuck in shopping mall. The film also stars Pooja Hegde and Selva Raghavan. And now we will show you a picture of unified and undivided India by presenting two examples of adults and children of different faiths putting up a foot forward to participate in Ramadan festivities. Take a look. Peaceful coexistence and unity are the primary characteristics of Indian society. It is quite common to see people of different religious communities actively participating and helping each other in different festivals. This sense of religious brotherhood should be instilled in children from a very young age for them to grow as responsible and unified adults. An example of this was recently seen in Surat city of Gujarat where children of a school arranged an iftar party for their Muslim classmates. Our culture is that in Ramadan, सारे बच्चे पैसे इकट्ठा करते हैं और रमजान के अंदर हिंदू बच्चे मुस्लिम बच्चों को अपने हाथ से रोज़ा खुलाते हैं इसी तरह दीपावली के दिन मुस्लिम बच्चे पैसे इकट्ठा करते हैं और अपने हिंदू भाइयों को फटाके दिलाते हैं और अपने हाथ से मिठाई खिलाते हैं होली के दिन अपने हाथ से खजूर चढ़ा एक दूसरे को खिलाते हैं और एक दूसरे को रंग लगा प्रेम की भावना यहाँ हर साल होती है These little children collect money every year and bring fruits and stables for their classmates to break their fast. Their Muslim brethren also arrange for sweets on the occasion of Hindu festivals like Holi and Diwali. Meanwhile, in Aligarh city, a similar example of brotherhood came into limelight. Hindu and Muslim workers together were seen preparing sutfeni or shredded vermicelli, a delicacy specially prepared during the holy month of Ramzan. Our boy, the job is good. Yes, boy, we. Who are we? We are Hindu. We are all Muslim. We are all Muslim. झुलकर ठहरते हैं सभी लोग हम लोगों में कब भाई भाई का साबिल कुले। It is the collective spirit of unity and brotherhood in Indian citizens that makes every festival a beautiful and a grand affair. Now let's take you to Kolkata city of West Bengal, where India's first HIV-positive cafe has been opened to break all stigmas and clear all the misconceptions regarding the disease. It's been said, no theory or prejudice should close one's mind to discovery. 
of in the human mind is blocked by prejudices which may result in an indifferent behavior towards a selected few. Cafe Positive, an eatery run by HIV positive patients in India's eastern Kolkata city is one of the first such cafes giving the employees a new lease of life in a world full of taboo. The cafe that started operating in 2020 is run by seven young HIV positive adults. We started finally in uh, 1st of October in 2020. Uh, in the meantime, we have a lot of pain, you know, a lot of problem due to the pandemic. And this is of course the another part, the first cafeteria probably, the completely depend on the crowdfunding. So uh, my main uh, objective is, you know, the HIV positive people, these marginalized children, you know, they are not guilty about their birth. So this is, they are of course part of our society, they are member of our society. So this is some citizen responsibilities is here and we can start at it and we have a, I am a dreamer, I have a plan to open the 30 cafeteria across the country and within a couple of months we can open the another four uh, cafeteria in the different malls in Calcutta, food court in malls in Calcutta. The intention behind the initiative is to make them financially independent and to provide them livelihood. This is one of the first cafe bowl sakte aap, challenge bowl sakte, jahan pe HIV positive young adults, jisko kahi or kaam nahi milta hai, बहुत सारे HIV positive young adults हैं हमारे साथ जो जिसको बहुत सारा काम से निकल चुका है they they have been thrown out so all those people all those young adults have joined us and we formed a group we came together to run this show according to the youth like their life, this endeavor was also filled with challenges with the land owners refusing to give them space and COVID-19. However, once the journey started, there was no option for them but to make it work. As a part of their code of ethics, the employees first explained to the customers that the staff at Cafe Positive is HIV positive patients. Some customers are skeptical after that while some are more accepting and are even delighted at the initiative. I respond to the response to the customer. I have a positive thing. 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 The group plans to open more such cafes across India to spread awareness about HIV AIDS and give employment opportunities to many more like them. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. By 2024, the spacecraft Orion, developed by Lockheed Martin, will bring humans to the moon in NASA's Artemis program. The system invariant analysis technology, one of NEC's AI technologies, will perform in checks to ensure the spacecraft. It is tested and operated properly during the production phase. Right now, our focus has been the assembly test launch operations and some of that includes the space environment tests where we can analyze how that spacecraft will function in the environment. It gives us this wonderful holistic view of the system and an understanding that uh, we have not been able to analyze or, or view in this way in the past. If you were to ask a human to do that same task, uh, one person it would take them 240 years. SIAP does it very quickly say within an hour. NEC and Lockheed Martin are developing new space technology through artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. 
dressed in traditional clothes and playing folkloric tunes, a group of Iraqis paraded through the streets of Basra's Zubair district, surrounded by children clapping and singing along for the occasion of Gargian festival. الفقرات او هاي الاحتفاليه بهاي المناسبه على سكه العبيد حصريا بس بمرور الزمن والتطور والسوشيال ميديا والنشر والاعلان والاعلام صار عندنا يعني مثل ما تقول جمهور خارج خارج نطاق الزبير عم محافظه البصره عام celebrated each year during Ramadan the Gharkian festival is celebrated in the Gulf and Iraq during the festival, children dress up in traditional costumes and go from door to door to collect sweets. A Syrian artist had a dream in 2010 to use sculptures of pigeons in her art and showcase it on main bridge in Damascus to send a message of peace. For that purpose, Buthena Ali, also a fine arts professor, gathered back then 15,000 small sculptures that would bring art to the streets away from the walls of galleries. What bikun bin la alam bihia la amal? What bikun bi mathaf au bi gallery au bi salon, bi bait au shagli? Bi dal la amal il shwayt alam. So what bikun bi shari? Hadi shagli kbir. Now small white sculptures down the alleys and houses of the old city of Damascus where visitors walk to inspect the pigeons, each hang to reflect a specific concept. In the era of carbon neutral, Idemitsu Kosan is trying to develop new industrial field. Idemitsu Kosan has rich experience of chemical high-level fiber material field. Its original material is syndiotactic polystyrene which was industrialized in 1997 for the first time. SPS has the strong points of heat resisting, electric characteristics, chemical resistant and so on. ま、もうその優点が295度 Idemitsu Kosan is developing technologies to reduce the harmful effects of carbon. For that, SPS could be transformed into various products to enrich lives. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Uzma Jafri and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.